So, uh, Carmine, uh, actually, I, from what I from what I know, Carmine doesn't really believe in theories in general. I have a question here. You, What's I... one theory Carmine believes that Preston doesn't flip the script? Uh... Um, hmm. I mean, you 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 believe like the big stuff. You're like, well, you know, R plus L equals J, Frey Pies, uh, um, uh, Sandor as the as the grave digger, right? And that the, all the minor stuff, you're like, yeah, probably probably not. Uh, well, what do you, let's, what do you don't believe in? And then we'll like list off the stuff you don't believe. And then we'll go on from there. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I don't believe that, 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 that John being a Zora high is a relevant plot point. I don't you like convince me on that. You yeah. actually convinced me on that. So we're both on that. See, I can't do this with you because you're very yeah, convincing. No. No, I don't no, think I, John will sit the Iron Throne. Um, I, I believe I, I believe that, too. Yeah. What about um, R plus L equals J? Are you on that or are you R I plus guess, L? I guess. Yeah, I guess I'm on that. I guess it's fine. But I think in, in the end, it was like once I came around to the idea that it, that it's more of a point of contention between Danny and John versus like mm. something to unite the people. Keep in mind, for most of the fandom's history, R plus L equals J was this like final uniting thing that was going to unite Westeros against the others. And it turns out in the show, it was the reverse. It was a point of division. Um, and even, not even very much of a point of division. I mean, it got it got Varys executed, but that's about it. So, yeah, but, uh, but, um, but, you know, I, I could see it as a point of division. Like, oh God, no, like, this is not a wonderful thing that John is the the child of Lyanna and Rhaegar. Like it would have actually been better if you were a bastard. Like mm -hmm. everything would have fewer people would have died. You know. Uh, what else don't you believe in? Um, let me That's think. Like popular out there. I mean, I would say that like I don't actually necessarily think. I think Frey Pies might be a fake out. Like I definitely think that's the intention that. Oh, like, there we're, it is. We're, I could, we're, so yeah. Frey Pies is uh is um uh sorry to cut you off, but Frey yeah. Pies is uh uh Manderly uh killing those Freys and putting them into pies and feeding them. Yeah, I think he did that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think he did. That. I think there's a good chance it's a fake out, like because it doesn't make any any political sense, and it's like so obvious that I'm just like, ah, come on. Um, I'm trying to think of uh. Oh, you think Ice and Fire, uh, Max Mercer uh, pointed out, you think Ice and Fire is sci-fi? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, I, I, I don't think George that. thinks there's a difference, you know. But I still do think it's a post-apocalyptic world. Mm, I don't want it to be. <laughs> I want it to be strictly fantasy, uh, but I like fantasy, so that's just me. So what's, what's your ex explanation for Storm's End and the Wall and stuff like that? Storm's End is, and the wall are fantastical because the plot needs them to be. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, it's true that if you go the other way, like like all of those things in Lord of the Rings, that the, like, like these enormous statues and enormous like like castles, like there's no way they could build those with the level of technology that they had. Not so bad. it's like you know you just kind of accept the fantasy. I get it. I'll take it. Why not? <laughs>